Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and I'm still hungover from the hangover. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. So, anyway. Beatrice, eh? Yeah. Beatrice Wankmeister, our fearless love interest of our great hero Roger Wilco. Beatrice, with the auspicious surname of Wankmeister. I, I'll, I'll bet that was a 4 a.m. decision right there. Uh, she is by far the biggest corner the two guys of Andromeda have ever painted themselves into, and I'm counting the Gippasoid Novelty Company in on this one. Uh, Beatrice Wankmeister, for those of you who don't know, is destined to become Roger's wife, because Roger's son in Space Quest IV tells him and uh, because time travel stories are always such a good idea. Um, now, uh, to just sum up what Beatrice is all about, uh, Beatrice Wankmeister, Roger Wilco's future wife, our hero of the story, Roger Wilco's future wife, she is an ambassador, she's highly intelligent, she's politically charged, she's resourceful, she's tenacious, and she's a She's a get-goer, she's a do-weller, she's a, she's a patron of some art, and, and, and she's generally very, very awesome. Now, what we've got to deal with on our part is Roger Wilco, who is a janitor, not very good on his feet, not very good in his head either, um, which is of course a perfect match. I mean, how is this not a, a match made in heaven? Now, you can see where I'm going with this. Beatrice Wankmeister as she's presented in the closing credits of Space Quest IV, is by far the biggest cock blocker of the entire series. She has basically painted the two guys into this corner that they cannot get out of, because we all know she's gonna be Roger's wife, and we all know that some shit has to happen in the meantime, and, you know, if you've ever played the uh, Space Quest Incinerations games, which, which I... Games? No, a game. It's a it's a singular game, but it's made by this great guy called Chris Ushko. Uh, and you should all hop onto boxofmystery.com and check this shit out, or just Google search for incinerations. In that game, we actually find out what kind of a bitch Beatrice really is. And there's an awful lot of discussion about uh, because in Space Quest Six, another love interest shows up because Josh Mandel was tired of this whole thing, uh, so he introduced Stella Santiago, who uh, basically resembles a. a well, uh, Klingon from hell. Um, but then she shows up and... <laughs> so, anyway, you can see what this would trip up a lot of people. Space Quest V, which is the one game in the series that uh, dealt with the whole Beatrice Wankmeister situation, basically turned out to be a princess rescue mission from hell. And uh, uh, Space Quest Six completely ignored Beatrice and just went about its merry way with uh, this uh, stellar Santiago Klingon. Um, yeah, you can see where I'm going with this. Not even Hugh Grant can make this shit work. So, there you have it. This is my Sierra Space Quest Ken Williams conundrum of the year, week, whatever. Join me next time, because this time we're going to be talking about robots. Next week is robots. Uh, we all love robots. We all know robots. We all wish we had a robot. And by golly, by next Sunday, we'll all have a robot to dance with. Your plastic pal who's fun to be with, and I'm not talking about that thing in your mom's drawer. So, see you next time. I'm... Uh, someone. <laughs>